family. It's a common theme on many college campuses, particularly Marquette. But this year, the women's soccer team is taking it to a whole new level with the addition of the dynamic Jacobson twins, Cara and Emily. These two freshmen were excited to take their game to the next level, and Marquette was the perfect fit for both. We kind of both sat down and we were like, well, we're just going to do it completely separately. We're not going to have anything to do with each other. Pick your own schools, what you want to do. And um, it just, our paths met at, at Marquette. It's just the way it is. What attracted me most to Marquette was how I like the soccer team had been successful for a long time and they were continuing right. to be successful. Um, and I loved how the team atmosphere was. Like everyone was so close. They did everything together. You know, they used the term family and you know, that you really got the feeling from the team that over the four years, you, like, you really feel like you are a part of their family. The nice thing and the unique thing in many ways is that we recruited them individually. Uh, we were trying to recruit them on their own merits. Emily decided a little bit earlier than Cara that she wanted to come to Marquette. And then uh, a few months after, you know, Cara kind of had sorted out in her mind what she wanted to do, and she decided to come as well. So, you know, we're, we're, we're very ecstatic that both of them are here. In recruiting the Jacobson twins, Coach Reuters recognized that this was not a package deal. I think more than anything, we're trying to recruit uh, great people and great students and great soccer players, and uh, they both fit that mold. So, you know, when we can uh, combine them, then, uh, you know, it's great. We've had so many different uh, sister pairs in our program, so this is a little extra unique because they are twins. The Jacobson sisters are the latest in a long line of soccer playing sisters here at Marquette which in 2007 started off with Ashley and Brittany Bears. In 2008, they were joined by Allison and Carrie McBride. In 2009, the team peaked with three sets of sisters as Allie and Katie Miller joined the squad. I think definitely like at the beginning of the season, everyone's kind of like, you know, how, you know, twins, you never know if they're like, spend so much time together, you never know how their relationship will be. So I think people are interested in how our relationship is. But now that we've gotten to the season, I think, I mean, I don't think it's anything new. Obviously, there have been so many other siblings in the past that have been on the team, so everyone's used to it. So I don't think it, I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary, and it kind of just blends in with everything else. And our program is all about family, so you know it adds that extra element in there, and uh, you know they they probably add to it more than we do because they have that you know blood relationship, meaning like you know they're sisters, they're family away from the team. Um, so I think they definitely probably bring more than maybe anybody else. But, uh, you know, I think it fits in really well with, you know, how we run our program and what we're all about and what's important to us and, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, they're individuals. I don't think our twin relationship of closeness stands out as much. I think as a, as a whole, everyone's pretty close. We're a team that spends a ton of time together and having a sister there, it's, it's, it's almost like having 30 other sisters, really. I mean, you're... We're, we're very close with each other. It's nice having, having a close-knit team because, I mean, however much Car and I are sisters, like everyone else like, has a, a similar relationship on the team. Although they play the same sport, Car and Emily both maintain their individuality. Most people think twins are super, like, together all the time, like, exact copies of each other. And Car and I, we're like, we look different, we are different. Um, we we're just have different interests and whatnot, and there's, um, there's a difference there, but the difference is good. I guess I just have to say that I mean, you, you always hear the type A, type B, and I'm way more type B than she is, and she's way more type A. So it's kind of funny how we're very different in that sense, but also obviously alike in many other ways. I like to wear high socks, like tall yeah. socks. That come and I'm embarrassed when she does. Whenever we go out together and she's doing that, I'm I, kind of like I really... I love wearing them too. I don't know why. I wore them when I was like younger a lot, and... My mom and dad were just like, you can't, you can't wear those, you can't keep wearing those. Like, just like that, I grew out, grew out of it. 80-year-old retirement man socks. <laughs> I, I like them, though. While both sisters joke around constantly, they always know that the other is there for them. I think it's just like if you ever had a bad day or you ever, you know, whatever, we, just, we can walk across the hall and go to each other's dorm room. We didn't have to, you know, set up a Skype time or, you know what I mean, text them or call, try and call them and meet schedules. So. It's just kind of, you always have that person there. Well, I think having a twin in general helps a lot. I mean, there's always someone there that's always gonna be your friend, always kind of kind of like a safety net almost. Um, it's, uh, it's I, I like it a lot. And when people ask all the time, what's it like being a twin? I'm just like, I, I really like it. I always have a friend. Uh, you know what? As many sisters as we've had, I don't think we've ever really had the conflict part. 
You know, I think they're, uh, I definitely haven't seen them with Emily and Cara. I think they get along really well. Uh, just the way they go about things and the way they interact. Uh, and even with some of the other ones that we've had in the past, from the Barses or the McBrides to all the different other girls that we've had in the program. Um, they've, been, they've been really good about it.